of all the weapons used by the warring parties in World War II. A special place is occupied by a gun from a Swiss company, Orlikon. This autocannon was operated by the militaries on both sides of the front line, but only the Allies managed to reveal its full potential. Using the Swiss-designed weapon, the Allied navies provided their ships with highly effective air defense. The uh, Orlikon is a Swiss design gun made in the UK under license and uh, it was introduced into the Royal Navy in 1940. Specifications of the Orlikon anti-aircraft gun. Caliber 20 millimeters, barrel weight with breech block from 64 to 68 kilograms, gun length 2,210 millimeters, ammunition feed, drum magazine holding 45, 60, 75 or 100 rounds. Rate of fire from 250 to 320 rounds per minute. The guns were fitted in single, twin and quadruple mountings. In 1941, England commissioned battleship Duke of York with six Orlikon cannons on board. It was the first British warship armed with Swiss anti-aircraft guns. One of the key requirements that the British put forward for Orlikons was that they be operable and maintainable for unqualified personnel, like fishermen and sailors from the merchant fleet. This condition proved to be quite far-sighted. Before World War II kicked off, Great Britain ordered 1,500 guns from Switzerland and purchased a license for their production. By 1943, single-barrel Orlikon anti-aircraft guns were no longer effective against fast and well-protected enemy aircraft. A good solution to this problem was the development of multi-gun mounts. This is a 20mm Orlikon Mark 11 mounting fitted with two 20mm cannons, each capable of firing up to 350 rounds a minute per gun. However, the magazine only holds 60 rounds, so the rate of fire is dependent upon the uh, crew's ability to resupply magazines to the gun throughout the action. The twin mounts were fed with ammunition from the left and right hand sides. To avoid mistakes during loading, the magazine for the left gun was painted in a bright colour. This is the 60 round magazine which fits on the cannon. This one is empty but is still very heavy. Imagine it filled with 60 rounds. Fits on the cannon like this and would be changed perhaps three or four times during an engagement. The loader's job is not just to load the magazine. She has to put the bullets or the shells inside the magazine. Each shell is individually loaded into the magazine, pre-greased to allow for lubrication through the firing system. As you can see, the aimer uses his body weight to move the uh, mounting in a training motion. The elevation is adjusted by the hand wheel you can see here. When he's given the command by the gunnery controller and once he has got the gun onto the target, he calls aim a target and is given the command to engage. At that point, he takes the safety catch off and fires the weapon. When a shot is fired, gunpowder gases apply pressure to the projectile, which starts moving out of the barrel, and the cartridge, which pushes the breech, makes it slide along the barrel. 
The weight of the breech and the return force of the spring, pressed by it, are matched in such a way so that the moment the projectile leaves the barrel, a spent cartridge is ejected from the breech block, and the next round is fed to her place from the magazine. At this moment, the recoil spring pushes the breech back, ramming the shell into the chamber. The guns in the twin mount fire in turn. As a result, its cyclic rate of fire is about 600 rounds per minute. The Orlikon was used on ships as a short-range anti-aircraft gun. Its effective range of fire was up to two kilometers. You can say it was a last chance weapon, especially for American ships, as they had to face Japanese kamikaze attacks in the Pacific. During the war, Orlikon autocannons were extensively installed on the ships of the Allies. For example, the American Essex-class aircraft carriers were equipped with up to 50 Orlikon guns. Therefore, the number of people on board the ships became significantly larger due to the anti-aircraft gun crews. Remembering that all the crew are actually linked together by the gunnery control communication system, they all can hear the commands from the gunnery director platform and the gun master gunner. This box relates to the Type 6 gyro sight and is the controlled inputs which are given to him by the uh, gunnery control, gunnery director pro, uh, platform personnel prior to the start of the engagement and set such things as wind speed, direction and air temperature which affect the ballistics of the ammunition. If, during the engagement, which obviously is very noisy, there is a need to stop firing, the gunnery director officer in the gunnery director platform will press the check fire bell, which operates this bell you see here. And this rings continuously until the aimer replies through his communication system, check, 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 which informs the gunnery officer that he has stopped firing. During World War II, the Allies produced over 300,000 Orlikon cannons. Many of them were later modified and upgraded, but in general, they still remained a Swiss design. The gun was too advanced for the time when it was developed in the early 1930s, and only when World War II broke out did this cannon occupy a niche where it was unmatched on both opposing sides. According to US statistics, from December 1941 through September 1944, as many as 32% of all Japanese aircraft were shot down by naval Orlikon guns. In the second half of 1942, about 48% of enemy aircraft losses resulted from the use of these small caliber cannons. After the war, the 20mm Orlikon AA gun remained in service with many navies around the globe until it was inevitably replaced by more advanced systems. However, even today, you can still see the World War II design Orlikon guns installed on some small patrol ships. They were designed to be the best. They met enemies face to face, endured tragedies and enjoyed victories. They went down in history due to the bravery of their crews. They are the ships that deserve to be called naval legends. <laughs>